Welcome to WeekdayChurch.com. We're still continuing with our theme of following some of the most famous characters in all of Scripture. Today we are definitely to one of the most famous characters in all of the Bible. And her name is Mary. Mary had it well with her soul. But I'll be honest, as I read the Scriptures, I don't know how. She must have had such faith, such determination and strength, such a great love for God and for her son that she overcomes so many of life's difficulties. She's truly an amazing woman. The Bible says that we would remember her and reverence her forever. And we do. Um, may we learn from Mary today some of the great traits that we need in us of faithfulness and determination and trusting God even when things don't make very much sense even when we may be the ones that get hurt from it there was a great song written long ago that says it is well with my soul he wrote that after the death of his wife his children and I think what a hard time to say I may look like a basket case I may be weeping and crying, I may be sad and broken, you may say, how am I going to go on? But I will, because it is well, it is well with my soul. Join us as we sing that today, and may you understand that Mary could relate it very well to that song, loss of a husband, watching all the weird things that happened with her son, but she knew that God had a plan through it all. I'll see it right after the song. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever. We're reading from the Bible today in Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 19. When the angels went away into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Mary was another woman of great wisdom. We've talked already about Huldah and her wisdom. We've talked about Deborah and her wisdom. I think that is a trait we underestimate in women today. I think if you are looking for a woman to look up to, for a woman to marry, for if you women out there are looking for a woman to make your friend, your mentor, look for one with wisdom. Look at these great heroes that we keep looking at that are the females and how much wisdom they have. Esther, Naomi, great wisdom in all their lives. Mary is a woman of wisdom. She knows when to be quiet, when to search things out. I think that's another trait we underestimate in women. It says that Sarah was a godly woman and knew how to win her husband over without a word. Sometimes we think that we can nag somebody. Just run our mouth until they do what we want them to do. It might work, but it's not the Christian way of doing things. Mary was quiet. She pondered these things where? In her heart. She didn't go around yapping about it all the time. It says again in the scriptures, that if, you have a if you have a question at church, don't make a big fit about it. Go home and ask your husband. Man, I haven't even heard that message preached in longer than I can remember. Why? Well, you know, that might offend somebody. It's only going to offend those who have that Jezebel spirit and don't want to hear be meek and humble. 
kind and quiet. It says that the whore goes out in the street with a loud voice, winning men over with her many words. But that's not the way the righteous woman acts. Mary, in so many ways, shows how righteous she was. And her life wasn't easy. Don't think, well, she had it easy, that's why. From the very start of hearing that Jesus was going to enter into her life, it got difficult. No one believed her. She almost lost her fiancé. Her parents thought she was nuts. She had to move away. And when she did that, she finally comes back home. And about as soon as she gets comfortable and thinks she can have a baby, they get taxed and she has to ride a donkey all the way to, through about the length of the state of New Jersey to get to where she's going. She gets there. She can't have the baby in a normal way. And then, you know, all the crazy good things start happening and you start seeing the uh, shepherds come and later the wise men come. But once that happens, they have to move to Egypt and then because his life is being threatened and on and on the drama goes. At some point, she loses the rock of her life, her beloved husband, and then she starts seeing all the trials that Jesus goes through. She had a very difficult life. And through it all, she pondered these things in her heart. She considered what God had told her about Jesus. She considered the many prophecies she'd heard about Jesus. She considered the weird things she'd seen Jesus do, but she didn't understand. She was okay with that. She trusted God. Quietly and meekly, she followed the Lord throughout all the difficulties and all the weird things that happened in her life. You probably went through some really weird things too. Some things that are hard to understand, don't make any sense. You know, another way that we use this, pondered them or treasured them in your heart, you could use the word meditate. Think about all the things that God has told you. All the great messages you've heard. The prophecies spoken over you. The scriptures that you've read. The great songs that you've heard. You know, one of my favorite things about how we do this devotional is that there's worship. Normally two songs a day, sometimes a different video and a song. But that there's a time of worship that you get to hear not only the teaching and the reading of the scripture and the prayers, but that we fill this thing out and you also get a time to worship God each day in song. Because there are so many great songs out there, some of which we've played multiple times, many of which we've only played once. So many great songs out there that can speak into our lives about the great truths of God and bring us to a place of worship. Let that happen in your life today. We'll be closing with Mary Did You Know. I know it's a Christmas song, and a cute little black girl is going to be singing it on the video today. I know it's a typical Christmas song, but it's a great song about Mary. I don't think she did know most of what was happening around her. It would have been too much for any of us to understand. But I think we could say, Mary, did you believe? The answer is a definite and obvious yes. We'll close the prayer, and we'll have our uh, closing song right after that. Heavenly Father. When we don't know, let us believe, let us trust. When we can't see your hand, let us trust your heart, as the other song says, God. Let us know you love us, believe in that at all times, even in our hard times or confusing times. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, enjoy this closing song, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.
Oh, 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 oh. Did you?